So today we are on lesson 7-5, the Daily Common Core Review. I'm going to read the questions to you so that way you know what they say. But remember, this is your independent activity as well. So this will be for you to answer on your own. Number one says, Mrs. Patel's class is counting the legs on a boy, a mouse, and a spider. The boy has two legs. The mouse has twice as many legs as the boy. The spider is twice as many legs as the mouse. Which number sentence shows how many legs the spider has? How many legs does the spider have? The boy has two. The mouse has twice as many as two. And the mouse, or the, I'm sorry, the spider is twice as many as the mouse. Which one would show that answer? Number two, Tomas has 12 pieces of fruit in a basket. He has oranges, apples, and bananas. There is an equal number of each kind of fruit in his basket. Which number sentence can be used to find how many pieces of each kind of fruit Tomas has? So he has a basket with 12 pieces of fruit. And there's the same number of oranges as apples as bananas, the same number for each of those three fruits. Which one would show how many apples he has or how many oranges or how many bananas he has? Question three says, Samina has two pies. She wants to give equal sized pieces to 16 people. How many slices should she cut from each pie? This one's kind of tricky. This one, I'm gonna draw a picture because it when it comes to two pies that you have to cut for 16 people, it gets kind of messy. So here's my two pies. And all together, I need enough for 16 people. How many slices do I need to cut each of those into to have 16 slices? Four, five, and six. You're going to write a multiplication symbol or an addition symbol for each box. So with one and nine, how did I get to nine? Did I multiply or add? With five and zero, how did I get to five? Did I multiply or add? And 23 and zero, how did I get to zero? Did I multiply or add? So all you have to do is write the correct symbol there. Daniela, this is just to read the questions to you. This is not time for you to answer them. Does that make sense? This is just so that way, um, cause it's recording right now, it'll be on YouTube later. So you can pause in between the questions if you want to. But this is just so you can hear the questions. This isn't time to answer it. Does that make sense? Okay, thanks. Number seven is kind of tricky. Mrs. Rossi wrote the following clues for a mystery number. It's a three digit number. So already I know it's gonna have one, two, three spaces, three digits. The tens are double of the ones. So that means to get from the ones to the tens, it's going to double, which is times two. The hundreds are double of the tens. So that means to get from here to here, it's going to be times two. The sum of the digits is 14. So this digit plus this digit plus this digit equals 14. What number is it? So you have to think, if I have three here, three doubled is six, six doubled is 12. Ooh, that's too many digits. If I have two here, two doubled is four, and then times two is eight. Eight, four, and two. Do those add up to 14? Eight plus four plus two. Hmm, maybe. One doubled is two, doubled is four. Four, two, and one. Do those add up to 14? So you just got to go through these, um, these clues. So that's for your daily common core review. Remember, you're going to do that one on your own. Okay, on your own. So this will be on YouTube later. So if you want to rewatch it later and then pause between the questions to answer them, then you can do that also. So let's go to page two, which is your daily com or I'm sorry, not daily common core review, your reteach. This is your reteach on page two that we're going to do together. So our job today is to practice writing division sentences. Once it loads, it's taking a minute. 
We're gonna practice writing division sentences. So we have practiced answering division sentences, right? So we've practiced looking at 10 divided by two and figuring out the answer with a couple of different methods. We've learned using repeated subtraction. We've learned using multiplication facts. We've learned drawing pictures and groups and thinking about it as sharing. Today, we are gonna write a story and solve the problem. Okay, are we all ready? Ready to go, Daniela? Ready and focused? Okay, awesome. So 10 divided by two. So when I write a division sentence, or I'm sorry, a division word problem, it usually follows a very similar, um, very similar pattern. You would say, I have 10 what? What could I have 10 up that I'm gonna share? I have 10, what do you guys think? You can come off of mute, you can type it in the chat. Apples, perfect, Natalie, I have 10 apples to share with my brother, right? So me and my brother, how many apples will we each get? So I'm gonna have to zoop, there we go, did it all on there. And I'm gonna change the color here so it's a little bit easier for us to read. There we go. So I have 10 apples to share with my brother. How many apples will we each get? So here's 10 apples. I've got one for my brother, one for me. One for my brother, one for me. One for my brother, one for me. Yes, Daniela, absolutely. One for my brother, one for me. One for my brother, one for me. I ran out of apples. How many did we each get? We each got, what's 10 divided by two? Someone tell me. Quick, 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 type it in the chat or come off on mute. 10 divided by two, Daniela, excellent, five. Yes, we each get five apples. That's our job for today. We are writing the number sentences, or I'm sorry, we are writing the word problems and we are answering the equations as well. Um, I'm looking, looking, looking for somebody. She's not online. Okay. Righty, are we ready? Question two. Okay, question two, 21 divided by three, same thing. Someone has 21 of something to share with three groups. How many items will each group get? So what could you share? What could you have 21 of that you share? Brian, what do you think? What could I share? 21 what? What could you have 21 of? Money? Okay, so $21. So who has the $21 that they're going to share? Maybe mom? Mom has $21 to... I guess she probably wouldn't be sharing, right? Be give equally to three, what? Three kids? How many dollars will each kid get? 
So $21 to give equally to three kids. Let's say that's their allowance, right? They did some chores this week. She's got 21 bucks to share with her three kids. How many dollars is each kid going to get? Go ahead and type it in the chat. What is 21 divided by three? What number times three will get me 21? I'm gonna go out and put on a sweater because my room just got really cold in here. Did it open up the window? Seven, absolutely. You guys are rock stars. Very good. Yes, 21 divided by three is seven, absolutely. I'm type done when you're done typing one and two. I don't want to move too quickly, but I do want it to get us out of here on time today. So whenever you're done typing one and two, just type done in the chat. So it means about four more people are still typing. Okay, so let's look at number three, and then we're gonna follow the same pattern. So I'm, I'm going to say Marie has, Marie, what do you have 18 of? Candy. Perfect, Marie has 18 candies to share with three friends. How many candies will each friend get? There we go. So Marie has 18 candies. She's going to share with three friends. How many candies is each friend going to get? Go ahead and type in the chat. How many do you think each friend is going to get? What is 18 divided by three? Or what number times three will get you 18? Got from three people so far. What number times three? I know three times seven is 21 because I did that on this problem, right? And 18 is less than 21. So my answer is probably less than seven. Do you guys think? Looks like I've gotten it from most of us. Very good. Yes, six. Six times three is 18. So that means 18 divided by three is six. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
And then my last one, let's see. Ignacio has 16 something. Ignacio, what do you have 16 of? Perfect. Cats or hats? Like cats or hat? Hats. Hats. Perfect. I was going to say cats, but that would be a lot of cats. Has 16 hats to put in four drawers, right? Maybe you're putting your hats in the drawers or you're hanging them up. How many hats will go in each drawer? That's a really great one, Ignacio. I haven't had that one yet today. We're putting away hats, I like it. My husband has lots of baseball hats and I think he had probably 16 before that I'd have to hang up in the drawers or on the hooks or something. And now my kids have stolen them and the dogs have eaten some of them. So now we have less than 16. And then I'm thinking, goodness, what is 16 divided by four? Hmm, there's a number times four that will get me 16, what is it? What is that magic missing number? Go ahead and type in the chat. What is 16 divided by four? My cat Mackenzie wants to learn math today, apparently. Hi, Mackenzie. <laughs> she just crawls up on my desk all the time and just lays on top of all of my stuff. Ah, on top of all of this stuff and demands pets. So yes, I see it from a few of us. Yes, 16 divided by four is four, absolutely. Very good. All right, now it's time to explain on question five. Sheila wrote a division story. She asked how many equal groups 24 flowers could be put into. So she has 24 flowers she wants to put in equal groups. What information do we need to her to give about the groups? What are we missing? She's like, okay, guys, I have 24 flowers. I have to put them in equal groups. And we're like, okay, but we're missing something. What does she need to tell us for us to solve this problem? What does she need to tell us what's missing? She hands me 24 flowers and says, quick, I need help. I've got to put these in equal groups for the wedding. And I'm like, okay, great, I'll help you. But what do I need to know to do that? I need to know how many, what? What do I need to know? Daniela, go ahead. How many flowers there is? So there are 24 flowers. It tells me the total, but what do I need to do with those flowers, Daniela? Put them in groups. Mm -hmm. How many groups? Mm, Does she tell I us? Know. I don't know, right? Yeah, exactly. She doesn't tell us. So we need to know that. That's absolutely correct. Good job, Daniela. We need to know how many groups to put these flowers in. Ooh, flowers in. We need to know how many groups, right? She just has us flowers, but we don't know how many groups to put them in.
When you are done typing this whole page, will you please type done in the chat? We do have some time to go over the practice, which I really wanna go over a little bit with you so you know what to do when you're doing this on your own. So whenever you finish this page, go ahead and type done in the chat. So I know we're ready to move on to page three. One, two, three, four, five. So that means there's still about four of us working. About one more minute and we'll go to page three. Okay, so if you're not done, remember this will be on YouTube later. You can also take a screenshot, go ahead and press the control button and the button above the six, and that will give you a picture of your screen. I'll give you five seconds to do that if you want to. Okay, now on page three, when we look at the last few, five, six, and seven, these are three word problems that you solve. So there's 40 relatives and five tables. How many people sit at each table? There are three outs in an inning. If a pitcher gets 21 outs, how many innings did she pitch? This last one, you have to explain. It says there are 16 people at a party. They wanna set up a relay team with exactly three people each. So that means three people on a team, three people on a team, three people on a team. Will each person be on a team and explain? That's the question you're answering. Will each person be on a team? Yes or no, and why? If you have 16 people that you're putting in groups of three, exactly three, will each person be on a team? Yes or no, and why? When you do these first four, you're going to do the same thing we just practiced. You're going to write a division story and then solve the problem. So we're gonna follow a very similar format. Blank had 54 of something. They shared for, um, had 54 of something to share with X blank. How many blank did each blank get? 
lots of blanks in there, right? So basically this is saying if you, I had 54 cupcakes to share with six friends. How many cupcakes did each friend get? I had 54 kittens to share with six kennels. How many kennels or how many kittens did each kennel get? You can press this button and press duplicate. Watch this, you guys. This is gonna make your life so much easier. Watch, ready? Click your text box, click the three dots, duplicate. Boom. What? All you have to do is change the numbers and then you'll just change your words once you add words. So this one, you have 36 of something and you're gonna share it with nine people, friends, whatever it is. Same thing, duplicate and drag it down here and change the numbers. Instead of 36, now you have 42. Instead of sharing with nine, you're sharing with seven. Oops, why is this on its own line? And then again, ready? Duplicate. I feel like it's a Harry Potter spell, duplicate, but it's not. It's just a fancy word for copy. So you have 25 in this last one that you're going to share with five people, cats, classes, whatever it is. So I would recommend starting with this because then you can just duplicate and just change the numbers. So you just make the copies and then go in and fill it in. I had 54 pencils to share with six students. My mom had 36 candies to share with my nine cousins. Um, my teacher had 42 pencils to share with seven classes. I had 25 cars to share with five friends. It could be whatever you want. Once you've done this and answered the practice page and the daily common core review, then you are done with math for the day. This is our last step. So I'm gonna leave this up for you. That way you can write it down, type it, duplicate it, whatever you need to do. Um, this